Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the SH Figure Arts Wild Tiger Top Mag version from Tiger and Bunny. Now, this guy is probably the most basic and simplistic character out of all of the Tiger and Bunny designs that I've reviewed so far. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's not a bad figure, it's just not an impressive figure. So if you're into the tiger and bunny stuff, you may want to pick it up. If you're not, then it's probably going to be an easy pass. But we should talk about all of the details so you can make that decision, so let's get him off the stand and take a closer look. This guy stands roughly 15 and a half centimeters, which makes him just about, just under 6 inches, really, really close. Pretty normal sizing for your SH figure arts, maybe a little bit taller. He's a really basic figure. We have very few accessories, the first of which is the cape. We get this cape, which kind of snaps on to him and matches this sculpted and painted design on his back. So that's really cool, but it's a fixed plastic cape, which is fine, though. It looks good, and it's not super heavy, so no big deal. We also get this cape, which is the same cape, just blown up in with the wind. And I'll show you that in the photos at the end, but it just pegs on horizontally so nothing really special there but still kind of cool we do have an interchangeable face or i guess technically it's a whole head but we have this head here which is his standard head and then we get this head which is out of my fingers and on the table this head which is slightly angry it's a grumpy head so that's kind of cool and they just pop on with a ball peg and then lastly we have interchangeable hands we have the fist hands and then we have style pose hands so nothing super impressive i guess technically you can count this as an accessory we still get the really cool tiger and bunny translucent plastic display stands which are really nice now this again this is a figure i'm borrowing to review and it's still all packed up so i'm not going to open it but you can see right there really nice looking display stand i really like these things and it looks great in blue so there you go all right let's look at the figure itself so Again, pretty basic, not the most detailed figure. It's, it's pretty standard. All the yellow line work is sculpted, so that's a good thing. Uh, the paint works a little fuzzy. It's not bad, but if you look close enough, you'll notice that it's not completely clean. You can see it kind of more obvious right here on the wrist. It's not terrible, but it's not great. It's going to look okay. Up, up against the other figures, you know, it'll be fine, but on its own, it's just not really impressive. The paint works good for the logo, though, and for the face, that's fine. No big deal there. It's just not great. One thing to mention about the capes is they do have that mineral issue where you do get kind of like this powder that develops on them, and you wipe it away, and then you look back a couple weeks, and it's back again. It does make the black look a little bit gray, and this, you can actually see it. Well, I don't know if you can see it. I can see it, if I can get this off. Um, maybe you can. I don't know. In some places, like, there's a little bit right here still. Hopefully you can tell. It just looks like a very fine dust develops. And you can just wipe it off and it's, it goes away. It's no big deal. It just happens from some plastics and paints. Uh, but it will develop, so you have to be careful. It doesn't look too bad on this like some other figures, but something to note. As far as articulation goes, the head is on a ball peg, and then the neck is on a ball peg. So you can move everything around pretty well. Um, am I going nuts? I think maybe the pet head is on a ball hinge. Let's pop it off. Yeah, ball hinge. I, uh, I'm confusing my figures. I preview all of the figures before I review them. This was the first one, and then I looked at about six others. So anyway, ball hinge for the head, ball peg for the neck, ball hinge for the shoulder, which is on technically a ball peg into the torso, so it'll wiggle around a little bit, but there's not a ton of room, so there's not much range. Shoulder, again, not much range. Again, it's not the best figure in the world. We have a bicep swivel underneath this shoulder cap, so that's okay. I mean, it looks decent enough. It just doesn't give you the best range of motion. Double jointed elbow, that's pretty good, no problem there. And then a ball hinge for the wrist, so that'll give us our full range. For the upper torso, it's a single ball peg. You get a little bit of range out of it, but not a whole lot. Nothing I would be, I would consider impressive or particularly useful. It's just a little bit. And then for the waist, it's technically a ball peg, but it's mostly just a swivel, so... Again, it's not great. For the hips, the biggest issue with them is that the sculpt of the hip itself, or of the upper thigh, if you want to call it that, does not match the curvature of his trunks. So it doesn't look great, and it doesn't have the best range of motion. We do have the pull-down hips, which are hinged ball pegs, which we can move the legs around on the socket and rotate the thigh around that socket, and he gets decent enough range. It's just not, again, it's not impressive. It's good enough. 
For the knees, we have a double jointed knee, really good range, not a bad look. It mostly fills in all the gaps, so that's okay. And then for the ankles, we have our hinge, which can rotate around. We have a hinge, and then we have a true ankle rocker, which is my favorite type of ankle joint, so that's really good. And then we have a toe hinge, and it's fairly stiff, so you can probably use it effectively. So there it is. It's a really basic figure. It's not bad. It's not good. It's probably cheap, so if you want to add it to the collection, I think you'll be okay with it. You're not going to be impressed, but you will be... Uh, you'll be you won't be upset either. So I think it'll be fine. So there you go guys uh, Make sure you check back on the channel subscribe because I have new videos every day all kinds of videos gaming action figures sculpting Movies TVs all kinds of stuff. So make sure you click that subscribe button and check back for more videos and in the meantime keep collecting